Newcastle United have lost by four goals to one at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Charlotte. I'm joined by Sai. This is TFTV. We're going to try and lightly make sense of what we saw um, last night. I personally haven't quite got there yet. Um, Sai, my question to you is, is this all just the, the most intelligent thing Eddie Howe could possibly do by putting on a Steve Bruce-esque <laughs> performance, certainly in the first half, um, against a team like Arsenal as kind of like a, a blanket reset and it's all just going to be classroom now on? Is that what this was? Uh uh, first of all, uh, thanks to Alex for letting me stand in for this of all uh, TFTV videos. <laughs> what a wonderful game to have to reflect on. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a wishful way of thinking about it, isn't it? Um, I suppose on the one hand, you could try and do some mental gymnastics to... Please do. To, <laughs> to, come, to, the, to come to that conclusion, this is the last of the really hard away fixtures we have this season. So we've played the top three now and you could argue less. <laughs> there was a there's a method in the madness of just getting it out of the way, but... Uh, yeah, the, the manner of performance is probably uh, to brush over it in such a ridiculous way. It's probably not the way to look at it, but I, I kind of want to believe that. I kind of want to believe there's a there are bigger fish to fry this season. We're not at Arsenal's level. There's an FA Cup game in a few days' time, which we'll talk about, obviously. Um, so in a way, letting them go out and kind of play in it, let's not push the boat out because the intensity Let's not the arrive inten yeah, the boat the, in the intensity wasn't there last night and maybe there's <laughs> i want to believe there was a reason for it rather than they just didn't fancy it so maybe they've been told look this is gonna be a tough game sit in defend play like you did against uh, with, the, with the previous manager um and if we come through it unscathed great and then we go on from here so <laughs> kind of i hope so i don't believe that we're unscathed i think we're quite scathed from yesterday but um if you cast your mind back to Norwich, remember that Norwich game where Kieran Clark got put, uh, yeah. red carded and it began the, the it began what was the wonderful renaissance for. If only we'd got a red card last night. Yeah. That, that yeah, was probably that. in the game plan, and we just didn't manage it, which is a bit of a shame. We ne we needed it. We needed a, a a scene reset red card maybe, but that was the catalyst, wasn't it? That was the start of something very beautiful. Um, maybe this is the start of that something beautiful again. You know what? You know what? It can be because you know we 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 play we get, can get into an FA Cup final within two days of that. If we do that on Tuesday night, this one can be kind of brushed aside. So in, in one sense, yes, it can be the the end point of what's been a terrible winter, uh, bar the the kind of renaissance we had in February. Um, and I don't know just, if we can even call it that yeah. anymore. <laughs> it's really stretching, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, you know, this is the first away game we've lost this calendar year. You know, there, there's something in that. I guess. <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, when, when the FA Cup game on Tuesday, when at home to Wolves at the weekend, it, it all looks different. But the amount of times we've sat on this in this podcast on these videos and said, well, if we win the next one, it's okay. And, and that hasn't come to fruition. There yeah. is There is some doubt in my head. But yeah, I, I, I want to believe that this doesn't need to be um the meltdown it can be a, a a point at which we reset and kick on from yeah yeah it will be <laughs> it definitely will be it's got to be right i think if it was all a grand plan then eddie howe is a very good um actor because he looked so angry after <laughs> the game um he looked like he could kill a man with his bare hands which maybe most people could, but he looked like he would, would willingly do it quite soon. Um, so, uh, you know, for that reason, I do struggle to, to, to fully believe that it was a complete plan to um, really just roll over and let Arsenal do what they wanted, certainly in that first 45. Yeah, the funny thing is, is that you could even say, right, well, the plan was to sit in and um, the plan wasn't to score an own goal uh, after after 15 minutes, which is a, just total shambles. <laughs> but let's be honest, that goal felt like it was coming the whole time. Like when, for the first, yeah. the entire first half, it was just Arsenal just trying different ways to score goals. It was like a, an attacking training exercise for them. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get out of our own half. We couldn't keep the ball for more than three or four touches. So um, you cannot <laughs> say that was a plan. There definitely was not a plan to yeah. be that bad. Um, I think the plan was certainly to, to play a lot deeper and, and be defensive and try and stay in the game because that is what you have to do, let's be honest. That is what you have to do against these teams away from home. Um, and we don't normally do it. We've, we've played quite open. We've played quite open at Spurs, for example. Yeah. We... Um, we tried to give Liverpool a game. It didn't really come off. Uh, we, you know, we just conceded loads of goals in that game as well. Uh, so 
I understand the, the change of approach. It just didn't work at all. And yeah, the own goal was unfortunate, but it wasn't like that was the start of, you know, a, a bad luck moment in what would have, was otherwise a good defensive display. It just, nothing was working. And, um, you know, sometimes you've got to credit the opposition. Arsenal are a really good side and they're in ridiculous form. And to be fair, to keep it to four when they've just won 5-0, 6-0, 5-0, or 5-1, whatever it was, um, that's is that a positive? We didn't concede as many as uh, three other teams yeah, in the Yeah, I mean, month. you really have to scrape the barrel for positives, <laughs> I think. But we can. Willock came back. There's a positive for yeah. you. And he scored a goal. So that actually, Arsenal had scored 17 goals at home before conceding and we finally broke that w little spell for them so presumably they'll be on a, a terrible downward trajectory from now um the other hypothesis i've got for part two of the show is simply that the focus you mentioned it the fa cup we play blackburn on tuesday night in the fa cup and this is our opportunity to kind of salvage the season if you will um because um we that's our only opportunity to do anything i think like given the results and the performances i'm not even convinced we'll get a kind of Euro europa league type spot or conference um but if we win the fa cup or if we get to a final that will offer some kind of mitigation i suppose for the season do you think and european football and european well if we win yes but even if we get to the final i think it'll offer people some kind of um like feeling that the season hasn't been a total burst um do you think that the players and the management forgot that we were playing yesterday and because all eyes were on blackburn and they were like that you know they just flipped back their flip charts and they were like oh fuck we've got arsenal we've got, we've got arsenal on saturday <laughs> shitters um, probably not right um, just because I don't think that much planning is required to beat Blackburn away, it really shouldn't. So you, you doubt oh, that. Oh, God, would... that feels like famous last week. <laughs> know, that I feels know. like a dangerous but, thing to say. But come on, yeah. They obviously have prepared for this game. But I want, because the, the alternative is, is quite worrying. I want to believe that the lack of intensity last night against Arsenal was because there are some eyes on that game on Tuesday, which mm -hmm. is arguably more important. It is important that we try and win a trophy, and that's our only hope this season. I actually think it's an easier route to Europe. We have to win four games, and then we're in Europe. Whereas yeah, but in you the do league, have we have to win big more. teams. Eventually, yeah, we'll we get will a have big to beat team. someone big. But we've we've done it this season. We, we we've beaten Arsenal at home. Um, the uh, the FA Cup is huge this season, and it's actually uh, it's a it's a get out of jail free card because of how bad the league form's been, and because we keep having these setbacks. Whereas if you keep winning FA Cup matches and get to a Wembley. A Wembley. A, a, a Wembley. Um, a really bang average league performance. Because that's what it is. It's bang average. It's not terrible. We're still in the top half and we're still probably going to finish between 7th and 10th. It's relegated. Like, uh, this year it's like relegation. Form. It is. It is. But we, we, we'll, we'll we sort that out. We won't be obviously. relegated, obviously. I'm not an idiot. Um, but like... You know, we, we'll, we'll continue to beat bad teams um, as much as you need to to finish in a, in a comfortable position. And that's... At the start of the season, some people said that was going to be okay. You know, Champions League football... Uh, have some cup runs and finish somewhere in the in the top half of the table would have been absolutely fine and that still is fine given yeah. how it's gone given all the injuries etc cetera, etc cetera. sick of talking about it but it is still true um so the epic cup now is, is really important in terms of that making that story viable because if we get knocked out to a low league team in the fa cup um it's kind of disaster stations it's mm. really it could be a huge meltdown both for the team Panic room for, the, time. for the fans and for the for the for the owners they're gonna think well where, what do we do now like what's what's there to play for this season so in a sense yes the players that there are the players eyes and the manager's eyes probably are in the fa cup a little bit and and so they should be because it's really really important yeah i think now because we all did our sort of where would you like how would you like to see this season go at the beginning of the season and obviously change that as the season goes on and it changes all the people that said like you know top half of the table and a decent cup run we're lying. <laughs> everybody <laughs> wanted to be back top four. Yeah. Everybody wanted, and, and kind of everybody had that kind of little ex grain of expectation there because of last season. We all knew this season would be harder. We all knew that there were some elements that made it better, like Chelsea imploding last season, Spears not doing very well, mm. um, and all of those things. Um, uh, Aston Villa were all over the place last season, and then they got Emery and... And and it's, uh, it looks a bit better for them. But things like that have made it harder this season, as well as all of the other things that we've talked about again and again, unprecedented and mitigated circumstances and um, all of the adversity that's come our way. But um, I do think perhaps we all still had that kernel of hope, didn't we? It, like that actually it would just be as class as last season, if not classer. 
um, but it hasn't been. I think it's important to point out that last season was um, a situation where everything came together. Everything came together. We're not really the fourth best side in the in the country on paper in terms of the squad, in terms of the uh, the resources we have. We're not the fourth best. We finished fourth because everything went right last season. You know, we we, we just played out of our skin. We wanted it more than some of those teams. I mean, if you remember, actually, last season we got one point off Arsenal and it was a really hard-fought, <laughs> scruffy nil-nil away. We, we lost at home because... They're a better side than us, and they, they finished second, and they, they look like a team that could win the league this season. They really do. They're hitting form at the right time. We're not at their level, and I think it's okay to lose games to these teams once in a while. Um, the manner of performance and the intensity was was a worry, but we've hopefully covered that because we're going to win the FA Cup instead. We're going to win um, the FA Cup. I think it, it has been a, a major kind of uh, reality check for us that unless everything goes right, we're not going to re recapture last season's form, and it's... We're probably too far gone to get it now anyway this season, and that's okay um, as long as we get ourselves back on track by the end of the season and can go into next season quite positive. But honestly, yeah, it's so difficult to manage your expectations after finishing fourth, and I think we've all been a little bit surprised at how bad it can go because it hasn't gone badly at all before now, and Mm -hmm. we haven't had any bad luck. We haven't had really any injuries, and we haven't had games where we just can't seem to find an answer. And you're right, Eddie Howe did look frustrated after the game, and he's he's looked frustrated after the last few games Mm -hmm. about... We just can't quite find the the answer. Um, even after Forest, he was like, "We did all right, but we, we're still conceding goals, and we're still trying to find that kind of yeah. the perfect solution to our to our problems." And he, and he hasn't found it, and um, he has got time now. You know that with the, we have a three game week coming up, but most of the time he's got a week to prepare, and no more horror fixtures like Arsenal away when they're on the back of five you know yeah. barnstorming wins. So yeah, I think we have to remember that this team isn't top four and I think we have to remember that the defense whilst it was the best defense in the league last season um I'm doing the quotation mark thing because quotation marks it's true yeah you don't don't need to do that no but a clean sheet isn't isn't, you don't the clean sheet isn't just the four players in the back the clean sheet is the 11 players who've performed that day and so when it's the same defense and everyone's scratching their head as to why they're conceding so many goals it's because the team in front of them is totally different the midfield's totally different um we just haven't got any bite behind them is totally different yeah 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 that's true carries did all right last night to be fair but it's still it's it's not nick pope so yeah there's lots of reasons why things are going differently this season i think we just have to remember that um at the start of the season if someone had offered you a top half finish a, a really interesting run in europe and um going deep in the cups which we have done you know as long as we beat blackburn i'll call cups. quarterfinals going deep in both cups um and hopefully further uh, sort of a minging way of trying it yeah deep, deep i into know the cup. i know but i can i can live with that and i think <laughs> we all have to live with that and 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 move on okay kind of weirdly positive but not from site we'll leave it there i think for <laughs> tf tv um if you would like to ask us a question use the hashtag hashtag ask tf tv we don't have one this week because we haven't done one in a little while um alex and i will be back soon ish um i don't actually have a date for you on that but we like to dangle the carrot and keep you waiting so we will be back but who knows when thank you so much for watching take care